And neighbors and students in Radford are on edge tonight as police continue their search for the gunman behind two separate shootings. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett talked with investigators and people in the area about what happened. I heard, you know, gunshots, you know, just uh, five or six pop, 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 you know, really loud. Shots fired in Radford early Sunday morning, leaving neighbors like Adam Lawson feeling uneasy. Three to five cops, if I had to guess, uh, with ARs and shotguns and pistols drawn at the house. Pretty, pretty crazy. Sunday, just after 1 a.m., Radford police responded to reports of a shooting on Madison Street. About 15 minutes later, more shots fired, this time on Sanford Street in the Copper Beach townhomes complex. One victim was found shot and rushed to the hospital where they're still recovering. That's awful. Uh, it breaks my heart, honestly. <laughs> Grad student Marley Holiday, nervous it happened just steps from Radford University. That is scary, um, you know, especially being so close to campus, um, putting student lives at risk. Police believe the two shootings are connected, but say the public isn't in danger. This is a pretty unusual event for the city of Radford. You know, Radford is a safe community and these were an isolated incident. We don't believe there's a greater threat to the community at this time. Investigators are still searching for suspects and asking anyone with information to come forward. In Radford, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. And if you have any information about either shooting, please contact Radford City Police.